Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video I hope you're having a wonderful day so in this video I'm gonna share with you guys five companies that are currently rated buy or strong buy by seeking alpha quant rating this is a screener that we I sometimes use to find high quality companies they basically kind of back tested some of the track record for these companies and so on so I'm gonna use this today to find basically five different companies that we could potentially look into researching about next week or even within this month but before we do that join us in the patreon account okay this is really quite helpful it supports the channel so you got a lot of things that you can get your hands on inshallah if you are capable please join us okay now moving back to the portfolio i just want to do a couple of talk about a couple of things before we get to these five companies as you can see this is my entire portfolio right now this is just the uh, the stock portfolio and then this is the etf so if you combine the two together that's where we are right now and as you can see last week the portfolio itself the individual stocks were up 2344 pounds i really like this the fact that now um trading 212 has started this this is really quite nice same goes for etf is also up for the one week just up basically about 3.5 percent or 19 pounds because there's not a lot of money in there that's of course that's probably why it's okay um, and this one you can see as well to over just two percent now overall portfolio doing really well i'm going to continue holding on to what i have already dollar cost average every single week like i have been doing the last few weeks so join us in, in this journey if you are genuinely interested in building you know generational wealth now just looking at the market from last five days as you can see here we've got the Dow Jones here is up about five percent the S&P 500 almost a five percent the FTSE is down about one and a half percent and Nasdaq composite basically is actually up about six percent which is quite nice to see but a year to date is where things change completely as you can see here the Nasdaq leading the way about 30 percent which is absolutely crazy the S&P 500, 26%, the Dow Jones, 16%, and then the FTSE 100, about just 4.5%. Now, this, if we end the year right now, this is where we will be. And probably that's where we're going to end up the, by the end of the year, unless something crazy happens. So probably by the end of the year, we will be in the 20s range when it comes to S&P 500, which is absolutely crazy. So we will see. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, we... The S and P 500 to gain over thousand, you know, twelve hundred, basically thousand points over the last two, since the beginning of the year is absolutely crazy. But as always, we're looking for high quality companies that we could potentially add to the portfolios and so on. And we'll basically right now, I'm going to share with you guys these five companies. At the end of the video, we're going to compare these five companies to the S and P 500. So stay tuned for that. As always, we're just looking for specific information, and it had, nothing has changed on the top. So the first company we're looking at today is Tower Semiconductor. This is probably one of the best companies out there, especially when it comes to chip making. And every single company, including NVIDIA, design their own chips and then send the design to this company and they then manufacture it. So 860 billion market cap right now. Current mode is white mode, 200, um, $201 per share right now, dividend 1.2. The payout ratio is just 8% and the five-year growth rate about 7%. They don't really care increasing this dividend every year, single year. So just one year this now, $2.33 is what you get. Dividend safety according to Seeking Alpha is D plus. Five, the five-year growth rate when it comes to the revenue side of things and EPS, you know, 19%, 30%, which is absolutely amazing. Profit margin, return on equity, return on invested capital, absolutely wonderful to see. Free cash flow of $22 billion, free cash flow yield of 2%. The total return in the last 10 years, 25%. Now, total return, we're looking at the price appreciation as well as, of course, the dividends. Re revenue growth for estimate for the next year is to about 25%. The EPS growth for this company is also 25%. And seeking alpha, uh, basically quant rating says right now is a strong buy. And as you can see, even Wall Street actually thinks it's a strong buy. And seeking alpha analysis is saying it's a strong and it's buy as well. So triple rating here. So if we click this strong rating for C um, Wall Street, quant doesn't give you a price, but wall street is actually saying 12 strong buys four buys one hold okay and that's about 13 for 14 percent upside from where we are 228 dollars per share now if we look at earnings if we look at sorry uh, financials this is probably one of the best companies out there so you can see here from 22 billion dollars in 2014 to right now 83 billion dollars in basically trailing 12 months which is absolutely crazy and look at this gross profit so they made about eighty three thousand. 
okay billion dollars sorry and gross profit of 45 billion dollars okay which is really wonderful if you if you just don't genuinely think about it and net income is 32 billion dollars so in terms of current basically liabilities because that's something that we normally look for and making sure that total liabilities is basically um, lower than the total assets so this company total assets has a hundred and ninety four billion dollars and when it comes to total liabilities okay sixty seven billion dollars so they can cover okay that easily if they need to next when we're looking at today's west management this is probably one of the companies that i wish i bought a while ago um it used to be in the portfolio i sold it when the price was about 130 150 i can't remember right now and dollars per share and right now you're looking about 224 dollars per share this company will definitely end up in my portfolio at some point i'm just waiting for the right time dividend yield right now 1.4 billion uh, 1.4 percent payout ratio of 41 percent which is quite nice it's very very low the five-year growth rate about eight percent the dividend streak of 20 years the annually you'll get three dollars per share dividend safety of a minus the five-year revenue side of eps we're looking about seven percent ten percent profit margin 12 percent return on equity we're looking about 35 percent return on investor capital of 16 percent and free cash flow we're looking at over two billion dollars right now free cash flow yield of two percent the total in the last 10 years 17 percent so a company that collects garbage is recycled and all of that stuff 17 percent total return of the last 10 years is absolutely wonderful the growth estimate for revenue next year they're expecting about 16 percent the eps they're expecting about 11 percent and it is a buy according to them so as you can see here we've got buy all around and if we click wall street you can see we've got nine strong buys two buys 11 holds on one sell and that gives us about 3% upside from where we are, $230 per share. So about 2%, 3% upside from where we are. Looking at the financials for this company, as you can see here from 13.9, let's call it $14 billion of um, revenue in 2014. Right now, we're looking at about $21 billion. Now, $21 billion, 12, basically was the cost. They took home about gross profit of $8.4 billion and the net income is about 2.6 billion dollars right now now looking at their total um, liabilities okay again we, we always check total assets against total liabilities so just always be, be um, mindful of that 35 billion dollars so let's call it 35 billion dollars of total assets right now and then their current total liabilities is about 26 percent 26 billion dollars so they can easily cover that absolutely no issues whatsoever next company we're looking at is one that's been rated strong by right now that's applied materials this is probably one of the best performing stocks right now in the s p 500 if we look at the year to date is about 18 19 percent for the one year we're looking about 33 percent and as you can see here we've got strong buy wall street saying is a buy seeking alpha is saying is a buy right now as you can see 160 billion market cap a wide mode right now 192 dollars per share dividend yield of just zero point just below one percent payout only 17 percent the five-year growth through 12 percent the dividend streak of six years and then annually we're getting one dollar and sixty cents is a plus or the highest rating the five-year for the revenue for the eps absolutely amazing profit margin return on equity return on investor capital really really great free cash flow 6.5 billion dollars free cash flow euro four percent total return the last 10 years 25 percent 11 percent um, revenue growth expected next year the year after that basically for the same year we're expecting the eps to grow about 14 percent and it's a strong buy as you can see here this is a very strong business this is really probably one of the best companies out there now looking at the financials because we always want to make sure that the companies we understand where it's been where it's going so nine percent nine billion dollars of free uh, of uh, revenue right now um basically in 2014 sorry 26.8 billion dollars of um revenue in 20 for the trading 12 months and as you can see here we've got about 12.7 billion dollars of gross profit then of course the net income for this company is 7.4 billion dollars now looking at the balance sheet <coughs> we're looking at total return of seven total assets of 33.6 billion dollars right now and total liabilities we're looking at about 14.8 billion dollars which means they can easily cover it the next one we're looking at is McKenzie. This is um, a healthcare 
um, service provider 77.2 billion dollars right now moat is narrow moat priced 100, 613 um, dollars per share dividend yield of 0 0.3 payout ratio only 17 percent the five-year growth rate is not there the dividend streak is not there annually you get basically 0 0.24 so you can see it's still growth company they're not really interested in paying that dividend maybe dividend safety is just an a which is not just an a but it is an a the five-year growth rate in the and the eps are both eight percent and 26 percent profit margin 0 0.77 return on equity is not there right now return investor capital 92 percent 3.2 billion dollars of free cash flow the free cash flow yield of four percent total return in the last 10 years we're looking about 12 percent growth estimate for the next year in terms of revenue side of things is eight percent growth s basically eps growth estimate for next year is about 11 percent and as you can see it's a strong buy right now now looking at this company as you can see we got strong buy we got buy and also a buy another one that's all basically all around buys if you click financials okay you can see here where the company has been in terms of revenue side of things you can just pause the video have a look at that and then right now look where we are okay in terms of the the cost of that revenue is absolutely crazy so 12.8 billion dollars of um, free cash flow and uh, sorry off gross profit and then net income okay if we can find it that is 2.5 billion dollars and when we look at the balance sheet okay if we're looking for total assets here so 72.4 billion dollars of total assets against total liability of 75 that's why basically there is nothing displayed here okay because there's a negative equity situation going on for this company now in terms of their price if we go back here i just want to show you quickly so we've got 10 strong buys three buys five holds and it's about 1.8 billion dollars oh sorry one point i can't even talk today 1.8 uh, percent upside 624 dollars per share and the final company we're going to look at today is southern corporate copper corporation 80 let's call it about 90 billion market cap it has a wide economic mode right now is 107 dollars per share 2.5 so this is the highest we've seen on this and in terms of dividend yield 62 percent in terms of the payout ratio six percent when it comes to the five-year growth rate the dividend strike is not there the annually you get two dollars and 78 cents dividend yield of uh, uh, safety of 70 i'm sorry c minus if i can talk today the five-year revenue and the eps both of them nine percent 19 percent 27 percent when it comes to profit margin return on equity 36 percent return on investor capital of 31 percent which is absolutely amazing 2.1 billion dollars of free cash flow two percent when it comes to the free cash flow yield total return in the last 10 years we're looking at about 16 percent growth estimate next year for revenue is three percent eps is seven percent and it is a buy from seeking alpha quant now looking at quant you can see it is a buy right now if you look at wall street it is actually a hold three strong buys no buys five holds six sales and four strong sales and as you can see it's a five percent downside from where we are according to them but quants is actually saying 4.3 basically which means it is a buy right now and if you click this okay you can see it's 4.3 so basically heading towards a strong buy right now financials if we look at the financials you can see the total revenue so from 5.7 billion dollars in 2014 to 10.9 billion dollars in 2024 now cost of the revenue 4.6 for this year so about 6.2 billion dollars of um, gross profit the net income for this company if we can find that is um, three billion dollars which is absolutely amazing and if we look at it, these companies do tend to carry a lot of debt so let's see what is going on here so total assets we're looking at about 18.4 billion dollars and total liabilities about nine so not bad at all okay so not as bad as i actually thought i would be now the final thing i want to show you about this company is there's two more things final thing in terms of sharia compliance side of things you could pause the video have a look at that okay and the, the other thing is in terms of return we're looking for total return for all the companies and including the s p 500 over the last basically three years as you can see 70 basically the s p 500 is only 27 percent but you can see majority of the companies has actually beaten the s p 500 which is amazing to see in the last five years okay s p 500 is the 93 percent look at the the rest of these companies okay that's absolutely amazing and the last 10 years s p 500 193 percent look at these companies 
So they all have beaten the S&P 500 over the last basically five years, three years, 10 years, whatever you want to call. And they are really profitable businesses. So what I would do if I were you, just do your research and find out a bit more information about the companies. I do own this one in the family portfolio. I do not own any of the other companies. I would love to own these two here. So the West Management Applied Materials are definitely on my watch list and potentially but you know end up in my portfolio i will let you know exactly what i do with that if you are still in, still here enjoying the video please like subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any questions and of course as always please join us at the patreon account where you get a lot of a lot of access to a lot of things including the discord have a wonderful day assalamualaikum